be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be making a trap beat in Logic Pro 10 in three easy steps, okay? Three steps. First step is to make the melody. So to make the melody, first thing we're going to do, we're going to actually use a software instrument track. If you're new, um, you just go ahead and click on the plus sign or you can come up here to where it says track and say new track right there. But the software instrument track in, what we're gonna do is go ahead and go with Alchemy. So we'll just go here, push create. All right, from here, we're gonna wanna uh, select a sound. You can um, select it by category, subcategory, genre, or timbre, or timbre, um, you know. So let me go ahead and actually uh, search here. I like this. We're gonna go with a dark sound and then pick one of these. I'll just scroll like this. They have thousands of sounds, 1200 right here. I'm going to push Command K. It's going to pull up my musical typing. Okay, once you find something pretty cool sounding, keep the pattern simple and then go ahead and lay it down. I usually you want to make trap beats uh, with the BPM of like 130 to 160. So I'll go 140 on this one. Accidentally didn't have this on the metronome, but um, it's all good. From here, we'll go ahead and quantize this. So highlight everything by pushing Command A, and then we're gonna go over here to probably like a one over eight swing A. Now, what we can also do is go ahead and resample this and do some cool things. So we'll do that. I'm just gonna take this, drag it on over here to this gray area and throw it back into the quick sampler. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this in place and um, match up the tempo by pushing this guy, which is this hourglass here, follow tempo. And then what we could do as well is go ahead and reverse it. Maybe we might have something dope with that. So we'll do that. All right, bet. So now we have that going. Next thing I'm gonna do is just double it. Push and Command D, hold down Option, drag this down. And if I push Shift, Option, and Up, it's gonna take this one up an octave. So this is kind of like a future uh, trap beat. So now that we have a basic melody, next thing to do is lay down some drums. So let's go ahead and uh, pull up some more sounds. So I actually have been using the uh, Ultra Beat drum machine. I just loaded our um, Rap Lords kit in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push create. And under factory default, I have my Rap Lords kit saved here. I do have a video, if you search it on my uh, channel, it is gonna show you how to load up this uh, with different drum sounds. But anyway, um, let me just kind of check this out.
So we can go ahead and start laying down some drum patterns with this. Let's see what we got. I'll just start with a uh, clap. Next, I'll go ahead and push Command D to double it. Basically, I'll keep this same kit going right here. Let's go ahead and um, do something with the snare. Every once in a while, you might have to like move some of the notes around. But sometimes it's best to just highlight it and then go ahead and quantize it like so. So basically I just moved it off the grid just a little bit just so it gives it a little bit more of a natural feel. Sometimes when you have it just dead on it just sounds too robotic and that's kind of what I was doing is playing around with moving it around a little bit. Now let's go ahead and go with like some hi-hats and kick kind of finish up the actual drum parts. So we'll just double this up again. Push command D. So we'll just go ahead and go with a simple pattern. Okay. Highlight everything, Command A, quantize. I'll take this first note off by holding down Shift. And then we can zoom in like that. Then we can add some variation. Just click on one of the notes and this we can add this in here. There's other ways you can lay down your hi-hat patterns. You know what I mean? This is just one way. Basically lay it down, plan it first, and then come in here within the grid and move it around just as you want. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and double this up in our Rapalores kit. We already have like some snare roll or hi-hat rolls. So that's gonna save time. I'm gonna use this one. Q. 
keep going here. Let's do some open hi hats now. That's just turning out nice. From here, I'll go ahead and start with a basic kick pattern. Take these off the grid just a little bit. So we'll keep it like that. There's always other ways to lay down um, your patterns and stuff like that, but we're gonna just pretty much just use the uh, piano roll for this particular uh, video. So now, after you do the drums, the next thing would be to go ahead and add the 808 or your low end sounds. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up an 808. Basically, I'm actually gonna go. Uh, We'll just go ahead and use one of my favorite 808s here. Go there. I got some stuff saved here. Bricks Domain has this dope 808. I'll use this a lot.
eerie, dark sounding trap beat there, man. But we pretty much did that with three easy steps. First, we did the melody. And we actually started off here. Then we came over here and reversed the sound. After dragging it into um, the quick sampler, okay. Reversed. From there, we made some drums. Of course, I gotta go through here and name all of this. And then the last step was to make an 808. Okay, that's pretty much how you make a trap beat. Now, if you wanna know maybe three simple steps to arrange a trap beat and maybe three step simple steps to mix a trap beat, I want you to go ahead and uh, stay tuned because we'll be sharing those steps within the next videos to come. Appreciate y'all watching and we're out.